Did you know that Epson, the people that make printers, have actually made a pair of smart glasses in a bid to, in one sense, rival Google Glass, but in a different way, focusing on the enterprise and enterprise technology? The smart glasses actually have a microprojector in each leg, and it actually displays a projected 80-inch floating image in front of you. Uh, the real unique thing about our product is that we've got two displays, so we're binocular, so that you can do 3D overlay over real objects. So what you're going to see is a 360-degree video wall. All different categories um, that you can select from YouTube. And if you look up, you can yep. actually select one of those categories. OK, I'm selecting cats. And if you gaze at one of the videos, you can okay. go ahead and initiate a playback. Tilt your head to the right, mm -hmm. and it'll fast forward through the video. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and if you tilt your head to the left, it gives you an option to rewind. Rewind, OK. And if you double tap the sensor, yeah. it'll take you back to the uh, main video wall. This is right in the middle of what I'm looking at. I can still see you, but this is completely superimposed on your face right now, um, taking up about that much space uh, in front of what I can see. But a very clear image as well. This is quite sharp. Uh, these glasses are very heavy, though. I can't. I need to hold them on. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely a developer uh, uh, version that we p pulled this demo together on. Mm -hmm. And this is, uh, you know, just a, a real fun use of Apex Labs' um, uh, hands-free interface. Obviously, mm -hmm. you know, we're, um, it's really designed for commercial and enterprise applications. Who would end up using that? These are for developers to build applications for. Uh, what we call their deskless workers, people in factory floors and warehouses and oil rigs and hospitals who want to do uh, applications hands-free using a see-through uh, transparent display. Tell us about what you and your company have created for these glasses which have been made by Epson. Uh, well, we've done two things. The first is we built a hardware sensor pack that turned these awesome displays into smart glasses, which has a camera, and IMU that actually allows the glasses to understand what's going on around them. Uh, but more so, we built the software platform that allows really cool applications to be built uh, for smart glasses. We've been doing this for three years. We've mm -hmm. built uh, applications uh, for the military that uh, take advantage of this kind of hardware. And the kind of stuff that you've done for the military is things like? Terminator Vision. That was uh, what we built first. It was uh, using biometrics to use the camera on smart glasses to identify faces and, uh, uh, and identify people uh, from that. And then we also built a, an application for combat medics who could go out into the field and use the camera and the sensors uh, on the glasses to better treat uh, uh, patients on the battlefield. Just show us how that looks in comparison to Google Glass. Conceptually, the difference is we've got a, a larger image that you can render in 3D in the center of your field of view. whereas glass, you know, it's kind of uh, designed to be um, up and out of your field of view for an always on, always using use, you know, use case. This is much bigger than Google Glass, but then look at the, what's actually being used as a display. This is very small. The advent of Google Glass, all the hype around Google Glass, that's only helped you, hasn't it? It's, it's been incredible what they've done for, for the category overall and just raising um, visibility for, for kind of all players in the space.